Hi, uh, we're in the next part. Um, I hope you haven't, you checked out the previous part. I'm giggling because of what I said just before I got on that part. So please go catch that context, all right? Um, I got bewitched by Abanda Batwele. Uh, in this country, it means a person that basically sells their soul to the devil. You can't really sell your soul to the devil. You can always go back to God, right? But I, I shall use the analogy for the purpose of this, um, for the purpose of easy reference. Uh, people who go to uh, Sangomas and stuff, like spiritists, uh, and they ask for wealth at any cost. Some of them carry snakes and stuff, something called a mamlambo. Oh, the things they do. I was tempted to not even believe it's true, but I mean, Adam and Eve were tempted by a snake in the garden that spoke. So uh, mamlambo is a total possibility. Uh, and I do believe the witnesses, the testimonies of Sangomas that have repented from the occult. Why would they lie? They're servants of God now, you know? Anyway, yeah, no, some of them carry snakes that apparently spit money or whatever, give them riches, wealth, um, and Uptwala, you have to carry this like funny thing, this omen in your environment in order to maintain your success. But there are certain things you can't do, like you can't get married, you cannot sleep with a woman, you have to keep on stealing wombs. So some of them do have to sleep with women, but they, 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 they steal the destinies of the eggs in these women's wombs in so doing, and that's how they get money. It's the wealth transfers of all the eggs in the womb. Um, so they render women worthless, infertile, by sleeping with them. Others can't sleep with women at all. Like, there's just all different kinds of rules depending on where you go for Uktuala Uh Now, some of the people that had come against me, like I told you, I was fighting warring executives at MTN all the way up until the CEO. So some people got to where they got, even though really they did not earn those jobs. They did not work hard at all. In order to get there, you get to, you know, there are those people that you're like, but how did you get here, hey? How did you get here with just a become law and a big mouth? Hey, you don't even have a, a, a graduate degree beyond, like a post-grad. Which happy level I become local visit and now you are like the HR executive at M how did that happen? Anyway, yeah, Uktuala Loku, like people that go to Sangomas to get prosperity, do you understand? At the at whatever cost to knock off anyone at all that would literally stand in their way or the way of that prosperity that said prosperity and these snakes do their bidding or these things that they carry like literally african spirituality is disgusting it'll throw you off a wagon okay you be out chilling like relaxed in the 16th century in the wagon and then you will come to africa in a time machine and you will be knocked off that wagon that like it's bad like the way that african people do witchcraft is just gross i don't know how how beyonce and jay-z twala but african spirituality is whack they carry snakes in their houses and whatnot whatever so i got like harassed i got sent witchcraft <laughs> by people on the toilet like you know when people think they are dangerous guys <laughs> I was listening to the testimony of an ex Sangoma. This chick by the name of Portia Mohao. Actually, go check her out, right? She's cool. <clears throat> and she said, she, I remember one thing that she said in her testimony when she was still in the dark world. Ne? <laughs> there was some dude that uh, conf consulted her for something. And this dude basically like was making a promise to Portia about something. No, please do this to me. I promise I'll deliver. I'll deliver. And Portia was like, hey, don't you dare cross me. I'm dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> she told this guy, don't you dare cross me, I'm dangerous. Portia, in and of herself, was a, a very prolific Sangoma, a Satanist, right? And she knew what she could do in the spirit to people. And when this guy made a promise to her, and basically she was doing him a favor in exchange for a future like reward like to pay her back or something she was basically telling him don't run away with me without giving me my money i'm dangerous and i remember thinking yes lavantu <laughs> these people in the account they think they're gods they've got delusions of grandeur these ones they walk around thinking they are rambo staring fandamo sons you know <laughs> Portia confirmed to me that pomp when she told that dude don't you dare cross me i'm dangerous so essentially <laughs> These guys are twelve, our petty young, and these guys that have got these heavy burdens of satanic entities carrying snakes and whatnot to get wealth and prosperity. They walk around thinking they are Rambo, you know, Sylvester Stallone or Fandam, I'll be back or something, you know, something hectic. They probably even think they're gliding or they're like in slow motion. And when you you do something to them, they just look at you and say, Yeah, I'm dangerous. <laughs> Let's say, like, the HR executive, let's say, Megatwele, uh, 
of MTN at the time. Uh, uh, when I was busy writing an email, uh, an angry, upset, huffing and puffing email, he was like, ah, this girl doesn't know me, I'm dangerous. <laughs> Like bashing their chest on top of a mountain, literally priding themselves on the power given them by Satan. Greater is he that is in me than he who is in this world. Hey, I, I got on the like toes. I stepped on the toes of some apparently very dangerous people. And these people basically responded to me on some, hey, this girl doesn't know what I'm dealing, what she's dealing with. And the HR executive of MTN with nothing but a BCOM law. I got here with, without even being able to piece a sentence together. They found me at the taxi rank at North, and now today I'm an executive. Because me, I'm petumam lamb, I'm dangerous. I don't know, is this girl? <laughs> <laughs> I like even that kind of shade by people involved in darkness. But I'm walking in the authority of Christ, and ever since coming under the Him, I've always known that authority. I've always sat on it, stood on it, you know, professed it, claimed it, hallelujah. I've always known that God is strong. Goodness, I was instantly, immediately um, convicted. Like, I never, ever shivered. Even in the slightest, in light of occult magic, it doing whatever. As soon when I came to Christ, I knew that He is that great power that exceeds all. Exceeds all. He is the great I am. He is the creator of all things. And I will trample on that dangerous man. Because he's a serpent and he's a scorpion. All of his power, I will coo and I will overwhelm. Let's move on to the next part. I need to blow my nose and I need to just kind of wipe my hands to do that, okay?